Diagnosis of homozygous or compound heterozygous plasminogen deficiency these days is made by analysis of the plasminogen gene. So what we're looking for on laboratory testing is a markedly low plasminogen level, and that is constituted as a level of 40 or below. So in the past, uh, before the identification of the plasminogen gene, diagnosis was made purely based on development of these fibrous lesions, which are most common in the eyes. That's very similar to how my diagnostic journey was because uh, the gene for plasminogen deficiency wasn't identified until I was about 20 years old. So for me, it was um, the development of those lesions in my eyes as a little girl and uh, that being the characteristic, you know, look of ligneous conjunctivitis, that's how the diagnosis was made for me. Yes, because at the time there wasn't an association between ligneous conjunctivitis and plasminogen deficiency, doctors really didn't know um, how to treat the condition. There really was no treatment, let alone understanding of the etiology of the condition. So we tried many different treatments for the eye lesions, including topical steroids, oral steroids, but mostly it was removal of those lesions surgically.